हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू अफेयर्स क्लाउड माय नेम इज विकास सो फ्रेंड्स वी हैव एन एप्लीकेशन बाय द नेम कैरियर्स क्लाउड विच यू कैन गो एंड डाउनलोड थ्रू द प्ले स्टोर एंड वंस यू हैव डाउनलोडेड यू कैन लॉग इन विद योर जीमेल आईडी एंड व्हाई आई एम सजेस्टिंग यू दिस एप्लीकेशन बिकॉज दिस इज द वन स्टॉप सोल्यूशन फॉर ऑल द करंट अफेयर दिस इज द बेस्ट ऑफ द बेस्ट एप्लीकेशन एंड द प्लेटफॉर्म वेर यू कैन एनहेंस योर लर्निंग थ्रू हेल्प here you will be provided with multiple courses here you will be provided with multiple options of quizzes and even you here you will be provided current affairs on daily basis pdfs and quizzes will be provided to you on daily basis both in hindi as well as english here you will be provided current affairs with weekly basis and monthly basis also here remember once you have done watching our video then you can log in through this application take out the pdf read that pdf and go through the quizzes that will enhance your preparation same you have to do for weekly and same you have to do for the monthly also in monthly you will be provided with the top 100 important questions pdf and video also that will enhance your learning and it will be a very benefit and beneficial and important video for the revision perspective and not just this friends apart from this we also provide you banking and economic questions we provide you state current affairs such as of uttarakhand up tripura telangana and many more not just this apart from this we also provide you topic wise current affairs and the topics that we are providing you are really important these topics are such as national affairs international affairs important days sports defense science and technology apps and web portals obviously these are the important topics that are being asked in various exams across india so these are the topics that are must and should be covered and will be beneficial for the preparation of the students hello everyone so in this video we will be discussing important current affairs for the third week of the october month the session will be quite interesting so do pay attention till the end let's start first is kerala became the first state to have hallmarking centers in all the districts of kerala state next rcs udan scheme has completed 6 years of its completion right important take a note of it next one nation one election website was launched during the high level committee that was the second meeting and this committee high level committee is who is the chairman or is chaired by whom ramnath kovind ji correct and it is for one nation one election next Mirai Asset Financial Group has promoted Swaroop Mohanty as the vice chairperson as you can see him in the picture he has been appointed as the new or he has been promoted as the vice chairperson of Mirai Asset Financial Services next indian army has get the vertical wind tunnel to train special forces and this vertical tunnel will be in such a way here high speed fans will be there that will be lifting the army personnel into space and this will be for training purposes next global media and information literacy week it is observed from 24 to 31st of october now let's start with some important uh, mcq question these were some your revision current affairs for your past days now let's move to some revision current affairs first let's start now the first is which among the following are correct with respect to the forbes india's 100 rich list released in october so option a and option c are right here but b is wrongly mentioned a is saying mukesh ambani chairman and managing director of reliance industries limited has topped the forbes india 100 rich list 2023 with 92 billion dollar total net worth and on second position is gautam adani of adani enterprise with 68 billion dollar net worth option c nikhil kamath the co-founder of trading platform that is zerodha is the youngest billionaire at the age of 37 and has ranked 40th position along with his brother nitin kamath with a net worth of 5.5 billion dollar so yes b c is also also correct but if we look at the option b option b is saying that rekha junjunwala of titan of titan company limited is india's richest woman with a net worth of 24 billion dollar and ranked fourth in the list so here the option is wrong because she is savitri jindal Savitri Jindal of OP Jindal Group, right? Is the India's richest woman? Is the India's richest woman? So option B you have to correct here. Not Rak uh, Rakhi Junjun Wala. Actually, Savitri Jindal. Next. who has been recently awarded with the best central bank award 2023 for being ranked A plus in the global finance central bankal. 
रिपोर्ट कार्ड सो हु और हु इज दैट सेंट्रल और हु इज दैट गवर्नर ऑफ द सेंट्रल बैंक हु वॉज अवॉर्डेड विद ए प्लस रेटिंग ही विल बी शक्तिकांत दास एंड इज फ्रॉम इंडिया करेक्ट ही इज द गवर्नर ऑफ आर बी आई एंड ही वॉज अवॉर्डेड विद दिस ए प्लस रैंक ड्यूरिंग द बेस्ट सेंट्रल बैंक अवार्ड फॉर ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी थ्री दिस अवार्ड वॉज प्रेजेंटेड ड्यूरिंग द थर्टी एथ एनुअल वर्ल्ड बैंक अवार्ड सेरेमनी ऑफ विच वॉज हेल्ड इन मोरक्को नेक्स्ट डेनियल नोबा बिकेम द यंगेस्ट प्रेजिडेंट इलेक्ट ऑफ डैश कंट्री सो डेनियल नोबा बिकेम द यंगेस्ट प्रेजिडेंट इलेक्ट ऑफ इक्वाडोर करेक्ट ही इज फ्रॉम इक्वाडोर एंड रिमेंबर ही विल सर्व आउट ऑफ द टर्म ऑफ प्रेजिडेंट गुलमरो लासो विच विल विच वॉज शेड्यूल टू बी एल्ड इन ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फाइव बट नाउ ही विल बी कंटिन्यूइंग दिस पोजिशन नाउ एंड ही हैज बिन इलेक्टेड इन दिस पोजिशन फॉर फोर ईयर्स जनरली मीन्स द प्रेजिडेंट इज इलेक्टेड फॉर फोर ईयर्स नेक्स्ट हु हैज बिन रिसेंटली इलेक्टेड एज द फोर्टी सेकेंड प्राइम मिनिस्टर ऑफ न्यूजीलैंड क्रिस्टोफर लक्सन वॉक दिस क्रिस्टोफर लक्सन हैज बिन इलेक्टेड एज द फोर्टी सेकेंड प्राइम मिनिस्टर ऑफ न्यूजीलैंड and he will be succeeding whom he will be succeeding chris hipkins he will be succeeding chris hipkins so question can be asked who was the 41st prime minister of new zealand chris hipkins 42nd christopher luxon next name the indian cricketer who recently appointed as the brand ambassador of puma india mohammad shami ahmed right or mohammad shami ahmed has been appointed as the India's brand ambassador for Puma or Puma India's brand ambassador he is a right arm fast bowler next name the spacecraft that has been recently launched by NASA to an interplanetary transfer orbit by using SpaceX Falcon Heavy rocket from Florida USA which is it what is the name of that particular spacecraft that was launched by NASA that is to study interplanetary transfer orbit using the SpaceX Falcon Heavy rocket and the name of the spacecraft here is psyche spacecraft correct next padma vibhushan awardee and 11th chief election commissioner of india dr manohar singh gill passed away in october in which year did he receive padma vibhushan in the field of civil services so remember recently chief election commissioner of india that is the 11th chief election commissioner of india dr manohan singh gill uh, dr manohar singh gill recently passed away and question asked here is that he was awarded with padma bhushan in which year so in the year 2000 he was honored with padma bhushan and important thing here is that he is the 11th chief election commissioner of india he passed away at the age of 87 in new delhi he was born in 1936 in punjab india and he had a distinguished career as an indian bureaucrat politician politician and a writer so right option here becomes he was honored with padma vibhushan in 2000 Marathi Athisari former president of Dash country and Nobel peace prize winner in 2008 passed away in the October 2023 so Marathi Athisari former president of Finland and a Nobel peace prize winner in 2008 recently passed away in Helsinki Finland and she passed away at the age of 86 next in October Dash became the second country after Bangladesh to eliminate lymphatic flaresis in 2020 Three. So, Lao People's Democratic Republic, it became the second country after Bangladesh to eliminate lymphatic flaresis in two thousand three. Correct. Then next thing, remember, which is the first country? It is question asked that who became the first? Who was the first country to eliminate lymphatic flaresis? Is Bangladesh followed by on second position now is Lao's People Democratic or Democratic Republic. next who is the present president of european union so who is the president president of european union ursula von der leyen right is the present president of european union next according to the 15th annual mercer cfa institute global pension index released in october india is ranked dash out of 47 countries while dash country has topped the list so remember according to the 15th edition of the annual Mercer CFA Institute Global Pension Index that was released in October India is ranked 45th out of 47 countries while dash country has topped the list while Netherlands has topped the particular list it is your option to correct here correct 
नेक्स्ट विच ऑर्गेनाइजेशन हैज़ रिसेंटली अप्रूव्ड अ वन एटी वन मिलियन डॉलर लोन टू बिल्ड क्वालिटी इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर एंड सर्विसेज टूवर्ड्स इंप्रूविंग अर्बन लिवेबिलिटी एंड मोबिलिटी इन द पेरी अर्बन एरियाज ऑफ अहमदाबाद गुजरात इट इज आई विच विच इज द ऑर्गेनाइजेशन हेयर इट इज योर डैश ऑर्गेनाइजेशन दैट इज रिसेंटली अप्रूव वन एटी वन मिलियन डॉलर लोन टू बिल्ड क्वालिटी इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर एंड सर्विसेज टूवर्ड्स इंप्रूविंग अर्बन लिवेबिलिटी एंड मोबिलिटी इन पेरी अर्बन एरियाज ऑफ अहमदाबाद गुजरात एशियन डेवलपमेंट बैंक द लोन अप्रूव हेयर इज वन एटी वन मिलियन डॉलर राइट नेक्स्ट नेक्स्ट इज डैश बिकेम द फर्स्ट रशियन बैंक टू रजिस्टर विद से बी एज अ फॉरन पोर्टफोलियो इन्वेस्टर फॉर कैटेगरी वन एफ पी आई लाइसेंस वॉट इज द नेम ऑफ दैट पर्टिकुलर बैंक इट इज सेबो बैंक इट बिकेम द फर्स्ट रशियन बैंक करेक्ट दैट इज टू बी रजिस्टर्ड विद से बी एज अ फॉरन पोर्टफोलियो इन्वेस्टर फॉर कैटेगरी वन लाइसेंस सो राइट ऑप्शन इज ऑप्शन टू दैट इज सेबर बैंक नेक्स्ट भारतीय ग्रुप एंटर्ड इन टू अ बाइंडिंग एग्रीमेंट विद इट्स ज्वाइंट वेंचर पार्टनर एक्सा टू एक्वायर इट्स डैश स्टेक इन भारतीय एक्सा लाइफ इंश्योरेंस सो रिसेंटली भारतीय ग्रुप एंटर्ड इन टू अ ज्वाइंट वेंचर विद एक्सा टू एक्वायर फोर्टी नाइन परसेंट ऑफ स्टेक इन द भारतीय एक्सा लाइफ इंश्योरेंस करेक्ट थ्रू दिस एक्विजिशन बी एल वी पी एल दैट इज भारतीय लाइफ वेंचर्स प्राइवेट लिमिटेड विल एक्वायर हंड्रेड परसेंट स्टेक इन द भारतीय एक्सा लाइफ इंश्योरेंस नेक्स्ट नेम द एक्टर हु विल रिसीव द सत्यजीत रे लाइफ टाइम अचीवमेंट अवार्ड एट द फिफ्टी फोर्थ इंटरनेशनल फिल्म फेस्टिवल ऑफ इंडिया इन गोवा माइकल डगलस करेक्ट माइकल डगलस विल रिसीव द सत्यजीत रे लाइफ टाइम अचीवमेंट अवार्ड एट द फिफ्टी फोर्थ इंटरनेशनल फिल्म फेस्टिवल दैट इज शेड्यूल टू बी हेल्ड इन गोवा इफ आई आस्क यू वेर विल बी द नेशनल गेम्स हेल्ड नाउ नेशनल गेम्स आर शेड्यूल्ड टू बी हेल्ड इन गोवा करेक्ट एंड दिस पर्टिकुलर इंटरनेशनल फिल्म फेस्टिवल ऑफ इंडिया इज शेड्यूल्ड टू बी हेल्ड फ्रॉम ट्वेंटी टू ट्वेंटी एट्थ ऑफ नवंबर दैट मीन्स दे आर जस्ट ओवर नाउ करेक्ट सो रिमेंबर हेयर माइकल डेगलेस विल बी रिसीविंग सत्यजीत रे लाइफ टाइम अचीवमेंट अवार्ड मूविंग ऑन लुइस एलिजाबेथ ग्लक अ नॉबल लॉरेट एंड जूइश अमेरिकन पोएट पास अवे इन अक्टूबर ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी थ्री इन विच ईयर डिड शी रिसीव द नोबेल प्राइज फॉर लिटरेचर सो रिमेंबर लुइस एलिजाबेथ ग्लक शी पास अवे इन ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी करे शी पास अवे रिसेंटली इन ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी थ्री एंड इन विच ईयर डिड शी रिसीव द नोबेल प्राइज इन लिटरेचर सो शी वॉज अवॉर्डेड विद नोबेल प्राइज इन लिटरेचर एट द इन द ईयर ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी करेक्ट एंड शी पास अवे एट द एज ऑफ एटी इन कैम्ब्रिज यू एस ए also remember in nineteen ninety three she was also awarded with Pulitzer Prize. Next, the Election Commission of India appointed Vyasan R as the new Chief Election Officer of Dash State. So recently, Election Commission of India has appointed Vyasan R as the new Chief Election Officer of Nagaland State. Correct. So right option here becomes option four. Rajkumar Rao has been appointed as the national icon by Election Commission of India, and this MOU between them has been signed for three years. Even if you remember, who was another national icon who was appointed recently, Sachin Tendulkar. Next, the first World Endodontic Day observed on Dash. So the world's first Endodontic Day was observed on sixteenth of October. Correct, and this is to spread awareness among people about the need to preserve their natural teeth from root canal infection and extractions. Correct, that is your World Endodontic Day. Next, which among the following are correct with respect to the ninth Group G20 Parliamentary Speaker Summit P20 held in October? So, if we look at the options A, B, C, all these three options are correctly mentioned here. Narendra Modi, Prime Minister of India, inaugurated the ninth. Group Twenty Parliamentary Speakers Summit, that is P Twenty, at the India International Convention and Expo Centre, that is Yeshu Bhumi in Dwarka, New Delhi. The summit was preceded by Parliamentary Forum on Life, that is Lifestyle for Environment, to deliberate upon the initiatives towards a greener and sustainable future. So, absolutely right. Third is the theme of the forum was Parliaments for One Earth, One Family, One Future, that is also correct here. Right. Next. 
विच ऑटोनोमस ऑर्गेनाइजेशन ऑफ द मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ एजुकेशन हैज़ रिसेंटली डेवलप्ड अ वेब पोर्टल दैट इज अपना चंद्रयान फॉर स्कूल स्टूडेंट्स दैट वॉज लॉन्च बाई यूनियन मिनिस्टर ऑफ एजुकेशन धर्मेंद्र प्रधान सो विच ऑटोनोमस ऑर्गेनाइजेशन ऑफ द मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ एजुकेशन हैज़ रिसेंटली डेवलप्ड अ वेब पोर्टल अपना चंद्रयान इट इज़ योर ऑप्शन सी दैट इज एन सी ई आर टी नेशनल काउंसिल ऑफ एजुकेशन रिसर्च एंड ट्रेनिंग एन सी आर टी करेक्ट हैज़ रिसेंटली डेवलप्ड अ वेब पोर्टल दैट इज़ अपना चंद्रयान दैट इज़ फॉर द स्कूल गोइंग स्टूडेंट्स दैट विल बी लॉन्च बाय एजुकेशन मिनिस्टर धर्मेंद्र प्रधान दिस पर्टिकुलर पोर्टल विल फीचर एक्टिविटी बेस्ड सपोर्ट मटीरियल सच एज योर क्विजेज पजल्स फॉर स्कूल स्टूडेंट्स दैट आर इन फाउंडेशनल प्रिपेटरी मिडल एंड सेकेंडरी लेवल नेक्स्ट Ministry of Civil Aviation. They have notified the amendment of the aircraft rules of 1937, which will be called as the aircraft rules of 2023. Under the amendment, following the revision of Rule 39C, the the validity of the airline transport license and commercial pilot license holders has been increased from five years to ten years. So directly remember the validity of the pilot license for both commercial as well as your Airline transport pilot license they both has been recently increased from five years to ten years. Their validity has been increased from five to ten years. Next, which among the following are correct with respect to the Middle East and North Africa MENA Climate Week twenty twenty three held in October? If we look at the options A, B, C, Middle East and North Africa that is MENA Climate Week took place in Riyadh, Saudi Arabia, which proceeds COP twenty eight. the un climate change conference scheduled to take place in dubai from late november so is it correct so remember all these three options are correct here the sustainable tourism global center based in riyadh saudi arabia has launched the world's first global solution hub at mina climate week the memorandum of understanding signed between india and saudi arabia during the mina climate week in riyadh covers several key areas of energy cooperation so yes that is also correct all these three options are rightly mentioned here next which among the following are correct with respect to the 141st session of the international olympic committee held in october 2023 if we look at the options 1 2 and 3 all these three options are rightly mentioned here the 141st session of the international olympic committee was hosted by india in mumbai maharashtra the 141st session of ioc approved the proposal of los angeles 2028 organizing committee of olympics and paralympic games for the inclusion of five additional support sports that are softball baseball flag football lacrosse and squash so that is also right and this is important how many sports will be added in the uh this 2028 olympic games so five additional sports will be added and these are the sports then ioc has suspended the russian olympic committee for violating the olympic charter with immediate effect and until further notice after it incorporated ukrainian sport body so all these three options are rightly mentioned here and also remember this was the second ioc session that was hosted by india after 40 years correct this is important take a note it and here ioc has suspended the russian olympic committee for violating the olympic charter so these are another thing that you need to remember next which among the following are correct which of the following countries is not a member of quad among the following what are the members of the quad countries india usa japan and australia among the following germany is not a member of quad nation and there is a exercise conducted by quad countries that is malabar exercise next name the company that recently signed an mou with india ai digital india corporation that is india semiconductor mission and center for development of advanced computing cdse to advance and accelerate innovation in ai semiconductor and quantum technology in india so what is the name of the company that recently signed this mou with india ai so the name of the company here is ibm that is international business machines they signed three mous correct and these three mous were signed by signed with india ai that is a digital india corporation then let me write here first was your with india ai then second was with your india semiconductor mission and third was with cd 
AC. So these are the uh, organization with which IBM has recently signed three MOUs in their uh, particular domain, in their particular field of domain. Next, RBI initiated a pilot program for the wholesale segment, namely digital rupee wholesale, that is EW of its central bank digital currency in the interbank call money market. Question asked here is that which among the following bank is not a part of the wholesale CBDC in government securities pilot program. So tell me which among the following is correctly mentioned here. So RBI initiated this program for the wholesale segment namely CBDC EW that is your digital rupee wholesale. Uh, digital rupee wholesale that is EW of its central bank digital currency question asked here is that which among the following bank is not a part of this wholesale CBDC in the government securities pilot program in the option ABCD here remember IDFC bank is uh, first bank is the part Kotak Mahindra bank is a part Union Bank of India is a part and State Bank of India is part but City Union Bank is not a part of this particular government securities pilot program next IRDAI mandated all the general insurers with motor insurance business to provide an inbuilt feature in the third party policy to cover the employees traveling in an employer's vehicle under the IMT dash of the Indian motor tariff dash. So remember this IRDAI mandated all the general insurance with motor insurance businesses to provide inbuilt feature in a third party policy to cover the employees traveling in an employer's vehicle under the IMT 29 of the Indian Motor Tariff Act of 2002, right? Next, next uh, right option here becomes option one. Next, who along with the Iranian women protest movement has recently named as the winners of the Shakarov Prize for Freedom of Thoughts 2023 that is Shakarov Prize by Roberta Metsola, President of European Parliament. So who well, who is the who along with the Aryan women? So the right option here is Gina Masa Amini. Correct. She along with the Iranian women protest movement has recently been named as the winners of the Shakharov Prize. And it is for the freedom of the thought by that was launched recently. Correct. And they were protesting for the rights of the Iranian women for rights of Iranian women and here Gina Masa Amini along with the Iranian women protesters were recently awarded with the Shakarov Prize. Correct. Then remember this Shakarov Prize was established in 1988 by the European Parliament that honors individuals and groups defending human rights. Next. Draupadi Murmu, President of India, appointed Raghubar Das as the 26th Governor of Dash State and Indra Sena Reddy Nalu as the Dash Governor of Tripura. So here remember Draupadi Murmu ma'am has appointed Raghubar Das as the 26th Governor of Odisha and Indra Sena Reddy as uh, Indra Sena Reddy Nalu as the 20th governor of Tripura. Correct. So right option here becomes option five. Next name the company that has recently won the golden peacock award in risk management under the power sector. So which is that organization that is REC limited. They have recently won the golden peacock award in risk management under the power sector. Correct. The golden peacock award is risk management. It highlights the REC's continued commitment to implementing various risk assessment strategies, thereby contributing to the organization's sustainable growth and resilience in the competitive business landscape. Right option is REC Limited. Next, in which state or UT Prime Minister Narendra Modi has recently inaugurated India's first regional rapid transit system? So where was this inaugurated? It was inaugurated in Uttar Pradesh and he also flagged here a rapid X train. What is the name of that rapid X train that was launched during this RRTS corridor launch? It is name here is Namo Bharat. Namo Bharat. This is the name of the regional rapid uh, train that is rapid X that will be running on the regional rapid transit system corridor. Right. Next. 
and remember this is a 17 kilometer priority section of delhi ghaziabad mirror that has been connected recently and this whole rrts project is of 82.15 kilometer but as of now just 17 kilometer has been open so right option becomes option one next google partnered with fintech association for consumer dash to take down illegal digital lending applications on play store in india so recently google they partnered with india basically or they partnered with india basically to take down all the illegal uh, to take down all the illegal digital lending applications from the play store and for which they have launched a platform that is face face stands for fintech association for consumer p what does p here stands for i repeat that is fintech association for consumer empowerment p here stands for empowerment so fintech association for consumer empowerment that is face this is what the initiative launched by google in order to take down all the illegal digital lending applications from the play store in india right next which bank has recently developed expressway that is a digital banking platform to offer a range of financial products and services this was launched by hdfc bank so expressway this is a digital banking platform launched by hdfc bank in order to provide a range of financial products and services next name the village of india that recently featured in the third edition of the best tourism villages 2023 list released by united nations world tourism organization so it is your dhordo village of gujarat correct this is the village that has been featured in the third edition of best tourism villages for 2023 and this repeat uh, this list was released by unwto that is united nation world tourism organization an important thing is the third edition and the village name is dodo village that is located where it is located in gujarat correct now another question can be asked here is that what is the name of the village that was listed or that was picked as the united nation world tourism organizations or unwto's best tourism village upgrade program best village best tourism village for upgrade program which was the city or village that has been appointed here madla village that is in madhya pradesh correct the best tourism village is your dhodo village of gujarat but best tourism village upgrade program for this it is madla village of madhya pradesh next which military station in india has recently backed with the best green military station award which is it it is udhampur military station it is in jammu and kashmir correct so udhampur railway station in Jammu and Kashmir was awarded with the best green military station award and this award recognizes the station's environmental efforts and highlights the commitment of the Indian army to strive for excellence. Then remember during the award ceremony, Dehradun military station that is in Uttarakhand was acknowledged for securing the title of the second best railway station for best second best military station for the green military station award next name the personality who will be conferred with the harmony foundation's 19th mother teresa memorial award for social justice in november 2023 so who is that personality nargis mohammadi she's an iranian woman correct and she's working or she's fighting towards the rights of iranian women and she was honored with 2023 nobel peace prize and she will be conferred with the Harmony Foundation's Mother Teresa Memorial Award also for social justice in November 2023. And this 19th Mother Teresa Memorial Award social justice ceremony is scheduled to be held in to on 26th of November in Mumbai, Maharashtra. Next, name the bank that recently received the approval from RBI to acquire 100% of the issue and paid up capital in sonata finance limited for 573 crore rupees so right option here is kotak mahindra bank so which is the bank that recently received the approval from rbi to acquire 100 percent of the issued and paid up capital in sonata finance private limited for 537 crore rupees it is kotak mahindra bank and sonata finance this was established in 2006 
नेक्स्ट नेम द थर्ड स्टेल्थ डिस्ट्रॉयर ऑफ प्रोजेक्ट फिफ्टीन बी क्लास गाइडेड मिसाइल डिस्ट्रॉयर दैट हैज बिन डिलीवर्ड टू द इंडियन नेवी इन अक्टूबर ट्वेंटी विच इज इट इट इज यार्ड वन टू सेवन जीरो सिक्स इम्फॉल राइट दिस इज द नेम ऑफ द थर्ड स्टेल्थ डिस्ट्रॉयर ऑफ प्रोजेक्ट फिफ्टीन बी दिस शिप वॉज डिजाइन बाय द इंडियन नेवीज वॉरशिप डिजाइन ब्यूरो करेक्ट एंड इट वॉज बिल्ट वेयर इट वॉज बिल्ट एट मडगांव डॉक शिप बिल्डर्स लिमिटेड दैट इज एम डी एल करेक्ट एंड इट वॉज डिलीवर्ड टू विच फोर्स इट वॉज डिलीवर्ड टू इंडियन नेवी नेक्स्ट When was Police Commemoration Day or Police Martyrs Day observed in 2023? So it is observed on 21st of October, Police Commemoration Day or Police Martyrs Day, and this day is observed to pay homage and appreciate the incredible dedication of all the police personnel who were killed on duty. Next, Michael De Michael Deba Brita Patra, Deputy Governor of RBI. inaugurated sub office of rbi in dash i repeat michael debarta patra deputy governor of rbi inaugurated the sub office of the reserve bank in dash it was in itanagar andhra itanagar arunachal pradesh right dr md patra deputy governor of rbi inaugurated the sub office of reserve bank in itanagar arunachal pradesh next Sargalya Arts and Craft Village at Irigal in Dash State was selected as one of the best 100 tourist destinations in the world at the Green Destination Congress held in Tallinn, Estonia. So remember this Sargalya Arts and Craft Village that is in Irigal that is located in the state of Kerala was elected as selected as one of the best 100 tourist destinations in the world at the Green Destination Congress that was held in Estonia. So it is located in Kerala. Moving on, name the bank that recently partnered with NPCI Bharat Bilpay Limited to launch its service under the business to business category. Which is it? Which is that bank that has recently partnered with NPCI Bharat Bilpay Limited to launch their services under business to business category? Which is it? It is Axis Bank. It is Axis Bank, and it is there under B two B category. Then NPPB's B2B category payment went live for the first time on e my geo application for Arzu correct then with Axis Banks as their biller operating unit also also my geo became the first app to go live with the B2B category payment so coming back it is Axis Bank that has launched the NPCI Bharat Bill Pay Payment Limited to launch their services under the business to business category and which app it is my geo became the first app to go live with the b2b category payment next name the regulatory body in india that has been recently awarded with isar honors 2023 by unctad working group on international standards for accounting and reporting so which is that regulatory body it is icai that is institute of chartered accountants of india correct has been honored with isar honors 2023 that is the sixth edition of this isar honors this was presented by unctad correct and the award was presented when this award was presenting during the 8th world investment forum that was held from 60 to 20th of october in abu dhabi so coming back this was the 6th edition of the isar honors presented to icai it was presented during the 8th edition of the world economic forum invest uh, world investment forum that was held from 18 to uh, 16 to 20th of october in abu dhabi and the theme for this world investment forum was investing in sustainable development so right option is icai next name the personality who has been recently facilitated with the 2022 center on the legal profession award for global leadership by the harvard law school center of harvard university massachusetts usa so right option is who is the personality dy chandrachudhi right the chief justice of india dy chandrachudhi has been facilitated with the 2022 center on the legal profession award for global leadership right next remember this center on the legal profession award for global leadership it is the highest professional distinction of the harvard law school and next next is rbi has approved the appointment of ashok vaswani as the next managing director and chief executive officer of dash bank for a period of 3 years so remember 
Ashok Vaswani has been appointed as the managing director and chief executive officer of Kotak Mahindra Bank for a period of 3 years. Correct? Ashok Vaswani, he will be replacing whom? He will be replacing Uday Kotak. So the right option here becomes it is of Kotak Mahindra Bank option 2. Next, ISRO successfully launched the first flight test vehicle abort mission of Dash mission from Satish Dhawan Space Center, Sri Harikota, Andhra Pradesh. So, ISRO successfully launched the first flight test vehicle abort mission of Gaganyan. Of Gaganyan, correct? And it is from the Satish Dhawan Space Center that is in Sri Harikota, Andhra Pradesh. Next, who has recently won the F1 USA Grand Prix 2023 and claimed their 50th career win in the F1 race? So, he will be Max Verstappen. He drives for Red Bull and he is the individual who made the uh, record for the maximum number of consecutive wins that is 11. Right? So, right option here becomes Max Verstappen. He has won the USA Grand Prix 2023 and has won his 50th career win in F1 race. Next, when was World Snow Leopard Day observed across the globe? So, World Snow Leopard Day is observed on 23rd of October across the globe. And we know in order to create awareness about the conservation of these snow leopard, that is one of the most endangered big cats in their natural habitat. Snow leopards, they have been also listed in the red list of IUCN, International Union for Conservation of Nature, that is for the threatened species. And for the first time, this day was observed in 2014. Next, which company has recently signed a multi-year investment management solution contract with LIC fund? We just saw it is KFIN Technologies. Next is name the institute that recently collaborated with Samsung Semiconductor India Research to establish a quantum technology lab with primary goal of providing research and training opportunities. It is IISC Bangalore, Indian Institute of Science Bangalore. They have recently collaborated with whom? Samsung Semiconductor India Research and it is to establish a quantum technology. A quantum technology lab with the primary goal of providing research and training opportunities. So friends, these were your important current affairs for the third week of the October month. Now let's move to some revision current affairs. They will be beneficial for your preparation. Let's start. First, first we are talking about Operation Ajay. Now, what is this Operation Ajay and why this was launched? So, we know that there is a war going on between Israel and Hamas, right? And because of this war, there will be multiple Indian civilians who will be stranded in Israel or in Gaza region, right? So, in order to evacuate all those Indian nationals from Israel, this mission, Operation Ajay, was started. I repeat, it was to evacuate Indian nationals from Israel. This Operation Ajay was started by the government of India. Correct? Important. Take a note of it. Then, apart from this, remember, first of all, tell me what is the capital of Israel? It is Tel Aviv. And it was also, two to three years back, it was also one of the most costliest country uh, city in the world. Then next thing, there are certain other operations that you need to remember that were the evacuation processes that were led by India. For example, Operation Kaveri. This was launched in 2023 and it was to evacuate the Indian citizens from Sudan. Right. Then Operation Dost. This was to evacuate the Indian, stand, uh, Indian citizens who were stranded in Turkey and Syria when the massive earthquake hit there right so this is for turkey and syria this is operation dost then comes your operation ganga if you remember operation ganga was launched when the fight between russia and ukraine started and it was to evacuate indians from stranded in ukraine and russia correct or uh, stranded in ukraine not in russia it was from Ukraine because the war was going on in Ukraine region. Then come Operation Devi Shakti. This Operation Devi Shakti, it was carried out by Indian Air Force and it was to bring back Indians safely from Afghanistan. From Afghanistan. And then last comes your Operation Samudra Setu. 
ऑपरेशन समुद्र सेतु दिस ऑपरेशन वॉज लॉन्च बाय गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया इन ऑर्डर टू हेल्प ड्यूरिंग द कोविड नाइनटीन टू ऑल द इंडियन सिटीजन हु वर स्टैंडेड इन फॉरन कंट्रीज राइट इन फॉरन कंट्रीज एंड दिस वॉज ड्यूरिंग कोविड नाइनटीन सो दीज आर सिक्स मिशन ऑपरेशन दैट इज ऑपरेशन अजय दिस इज फॉर इसराइल कावेरी फॉर सुडान ऑपरेशन दोज फॉर टर्की एंड सीरिया ऑपरेशन समुद्र सेतु ड्यूरिंग कोविड नाइन्टीन ऑपरेशन गंगा वॉज टू इवेक्युएट इंडियन सिटीजन स्टैंडर्ड इन यूक्रेन एंड ऑपरेशन देवी शक्ति फॉर इंडियन एयरफोर्स दैट वॉज स्टार्टेड बाई इंडियन एयरफोर्स फॉर इवेक्युएटिंग ऑफ इंडियंस फ्रॉम अफगानिस्तान राइट सो दीज आर सम ऑपरेशन दैट यू डेफिनेटली नीड टू रिमेंबर एंड दे आर इम्पॉर्टेंट नेक्स्ट वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट इम्पॉर्टेंट डेज सो वर्ल्ड माइग्रेटरी बर्थ डे वेन डू वी ऑब्जर्व दिस दिस डे इज ऑब्जर्व ऑन फोर्टीन ऑफ अक्टूबर वर्ल्ड माइग्रेटरी बर्ड डे देन देर इज अ थीम फॉर दिस डे दैट इज वॉटर सस्टेनिंग बर्ल्ड लाइफ राइट एंड दिस डे इज सेलिब्रेटेड अक्रॉस द ग्लोब रिमेंबर दिस ईयर इन ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी थ्री इट वॉज ऑन फोर्टीन ऑफ अक्टूबर बट रिमेंबर जनरली इट इज ऑब्जर्व ऑन द सेकेंड सैटरडे ऑफ मे एंड अक्टूबर सो रिमेंबर दिस डे इज ऑब्जर्व ट्वाइस इन अ ईयर दैट इज ऑन सेकेंड सैटरडे of may month and second saturday of october and as the name suggests this day is basically to raise awareness about the importance of migratory birds their ecological importance and the need for international cooperation to protect them and their habitats and this year it was on 13th of may and 14th of october moving on next is world standards day This day is observed on fourteenth of October, World Standards Day, and it is observed across the globe to educate consumers, policymakers, and businessmen about the value of standardization. Then there is a theme that you need to remember here. The theme here is shared vision for a better world, standards for sustainable development goals. I repeat, shared vision for a better world, standards for sustainable development goals. This is the theme. for the world standards day observed on 14th of october and the first ever world standards day was observed in 1970 correct next next is international day of rural women we observe this day on 15th of october and it is to recognize the critical role and contribution of rural women that includes your indigenous women in enhancing the agriculture and rural development that improves food security and will also eradicate rural poverty right so women participation in the labor market as well as in the providing job or getting job and earning for the household is also important correct so it is basically this day is observed to recognize the role of women the role of rural women in day to day living so international day of rural women is observed on 15th of october and the theme that you need to remember here is rural women women with rights right rural women women with rights this is the theme here correct and the first ever edition of this day was observed when in 2008 next next we are talking about global hand washing day so remember global hand washing day is observed on 15th of october and it is to raise awareness about the importance of hand washing with soap and water as they prevent disease during covid 19 also we saw that it was encouraged that people should wash their hands properly and they should not even touch their eyes and nose with those hands correct so coming back 15th of october observed as global hand washing day and it was the 16th edition of this global hand washing day observed in 2023 then there is a theme that is clean hands or within reach clean hands are within reach is the theme for the global hand washing day correct next next let's move to state news so remember recently chief minister navin patnaik chief minister of odisha navin patnaik have launched the first phase of laccmi yojana lakami yojana what is this lakami lakami yojana right this is a scheme that was launched in the malkangiri district of odisha where was this launched this was launched in the malkangiri district of odisha 
launched by navin patnaik as you can see him in the picture he is the chief minister of odisha this scheme was announced in the odisha state budget and this scheme offers reliable and affordable public transport throughout odisha with the focus will be more on rural areas i repeat what is this this is basically to provide a reliable and affordable public transport right and this public transport the speciality here is bus services better bus services will be provided correct the main focus here will be rural areas and this lakshmi aims to connect gram panchayats with bhuvneshwar that is the capital of odisha through public transport system the project is implemented in odisha with a budget of 3178 crore rupees over the next 3 years and this lakshmi bus service will be launched in rural areas of six tribal dominated and remote districts of odisha in malkangiri korapur nabrangapur raigdabad kalhandi and gajpati correct and in first phase 36 buses will be coming into play correct so this lakshmi scheme it is a bus service scheme in order to increase the public transport in odisha it was launched by navin patnaik chief minister of odisha then apart from this only navin patnaik has also launched amma odisha nabin odisha amma odisha nabin odisha what is this this is basically to boost the rural infrastructure and promote the jagannath culture across odisha i repeat this was launched and what is this scheme it is basically to increase or boost the rural infrastructure and promote jagannath culture across odisha under this scheme each panchayat will receive 50 lakh rupees to take up the projects for protecting places of worship upgrading sites of historical significance and improving the rural infrastructure and digital access next we are talking about indian space conclave 2023 this indian space conclave was held in delhi correct first of all mark this then this was between 9 to 11th of october this annual indian space conclave where was it held new delhi and india in delhi 2 in new delhi 2 where was this held this was held at maneksha center it was at maneksha center in new delhi and this conclave was organized by indian space association next thing it was co-hosted by whom it was co-hosted by in space that is an autonomous space agency of the department of space and the theme on which this indian space conclave was based it is bhumandal se brahman tak i repeat bhumandal se brahman tak this is the theme for indian space conclave 2023 that is from earth to entire universe if we talk about indian space association who organized this here director general will be lieutenant general anil kumar bhat headquarter it is in new delhi and it was established in 2021 moving on next is international day for the disaster risk reduction this day is observed on 13th of october and this international day for disaster risk reduction is observed on 13th of october to promote a global culture of risk awareness and disaster reduction then there is a theme for this day that is fighting inequality for a resilient future i repeat fighting inequality for a resilient future this is the theme for the international day for disaster risk reduction observed on 13th of october correct next next we are talking about world egg day as you can see in the picture we know a uh, gives nutritious food it contains protein and people generally like to consume this food so world egg day it is to create awareness about the importance of egg in human nutrition and this world egg day was observed on 13th of october correct in 2023 but generally remember this day is observed on second friday of october month so this year in 2023 it was on 13th of october and remember in 2022 it was on 14th of october and this is the 27th edition of the world egg day that was observed in 2023 then there is a theme for this eggs for a healthy future n i m h n s nihams and what is this this stands for national institute of mental health and neurosciences this was recently inaugurated in bangalore i repeat nimhans that is 
नेशनल इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ मेंटल हेल्थ एंड न्यूरो साइंसिस दिस वॉज रिसेंटली इनाग्रेटेड इन बैंगलोर कर्नाटका एंड दिस वॉज इनाग्रेटेड बाय होम इट वॉज इनाग्रेटेड बाय मनसुख मानवीय हु इज आर यूनियन मिनिस्टर ऑफ हेल्थ एंड फैमिली वेलफेयर एंड न्यू फैसिलिटीज वॉज इनाग्रेटेड एट दिस नेमंस इन बैंगलोर कर्नाटका अपार्ट फ्रॉम दिस न्यू फैसिलिटीज हेयर अ लोगो ऑफ टेलीमानस आई रिपीट अ लोगो ऑफ टेलीमानस दैट इज टेली मेंटल हेल्थ असिस्टेंस एंड नेटवर्किंग अक्रॉस स्टेट आई रिपीट टेली मेंटल हेल्थ असिस्टेंस एंड नेटवर्किंग अक्रॉस स्टेट अ न्यू लोगो फॉर दिस वॉज ऑल्सो लॉन्च देन दीज इवेंट्स हैपन ऑन द थर्टी फर्स्ट वर्ल्ड मेंटल हेल्थ डे थर्टी फर्स्ट वर्ल्ड मेंटल हेल्थ डे एंड वी ऑब्जर्व दिस डे वेन ऑन टेंथ ऑफ ऑक्टूबर राइट सो नेमंस इज अ प्रीमियर मेडिकल इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ इंडिया फॉर मेंटल हेल्थ एजुकेशन केयर एंड रिसर्च एंड नेमंस केम इन टू एग्जिस्टेंस इन नाइनटीन सेवेंटी फोर एंड हेयर न्यू फैसिलिटीज फॉर दिस पर्टिकुलर इंस्टीट्यूट हैज बिन रिसेंटली लॉन्च बाय मनसुख मानवीय करेक्ट टेक अ नोट ऑफ दिस देन इफ वी टॉक अबाउट टेलीमानस इट इज अ नेशनल टेली मेंटल हेल्थ प्रोग्राम द एम ऑफ विच इज टू प्रोवाइड मेंटल हेल्थ टू ऑल बिकॉज ऑफ इट्स यूनिवर्सल ह्यूमन राइट करेक्ट एंड नेशनल इफ यू टॉक अबाउट दिस नेशनल मेंटल हेल्थ सर्वे पब्लिश इन टू थाउजेंड फिफ्टीन सिक्सटीन रिवील्ड दैट ऑलमोस्ट टेन परसेंट ऑफ द पॉपुलेशन इज अफेक्टेड बाय मेंटल हेल्थ प्रॉब्लम नेक्स्ट इज भोपाल महिला थाना बिकेम इंडिया फर्स्ट वीमेन सेंट्रिक पुलिस स्टेशन टू गेट आई एस ओ certification now what is this certification why this is important and what was the need for this certification so remember this iso certification it is issued for 3 years right and it is mahila thana that is women's police station of mopal madhya pradesh it became the first women centric police station that got this international standard for uh, international organization for standardized standardization that is iso 9001 2 Fifteen certification, correct. Now, what is this important? What are the features, right? If we talk about this, here various upgrades were implemented, and including the provision of separate rooms and dedicated computer systems for investigating officers and staffs, minimizing potential risk during meetings and operation. CCTV cameras were installed throughout the premises of police station, and the station was redesigned to be more. victim friendly a swing house has been set up for children and more than 5 toilets have been built also a dedicated feeding room was set up to serve the needs of the women and this iso certification remember it specifies the requirement of an ideal quality management system and provides a framework for organizations to improve the efficiency enhance customer satisfaction and achieve a better improvement correct so with the uh, establishment of all these things we saw that bhopal's mahila thana became the country's first women police station to get an iso certification also remember with this it became the second iso certified police station in bhopal earlier in may miss road miss road police station this is in bhopal only they also got the first or they got the first iso 29001 certification correct and which is the second and the first women centric police station to get the iso certification it is bhopal's mahila thana right it is in bhopal madhya pradesh next if i ask you about iso international standard for organization tell me where is the headquarter of it it is in geneva switzerland and it was established in 1947 next we are talking about arjun munda has inaugurated adi mahotsav in jharkhand directly remember who is arjun munda arjun munda is our minister of tribal affairs right he is our union minister of tribal affairs arjun munda he inaugurated this adi mahotsav in jharkhand directly remember then this was uh, organized by whom this adi mahotsav it was organized by trifed that is tribal cooperative marketing development federation of india limited this was held in jharkhand 
and this particular event was from 17 to 16th of October correct and this Adi Mahotsav this is an annual initiative of Ministry of Tribal Affairs to celebrate tribal entrepreneurship craft culture cuisine commerce and traditional art it is a crucial platform for showcasing the rich and diverse heritage of India to national and international audience also 2023 Adi Mahotsav will showcase talents of 336 tribal artisans and artists including members of particularly vulnerable tribal groups and Vandhan Vikas Kendra beneficiaries next is global hunger index report 2023 important report mark this friends this global hunger index report here what is the rank of india in this particular index so india ranked 111 out of 125 in the global hunger index report correct also remember in this india has slipped four positions as compared to the previous ranking and india has the highest child wasting rate of almost 18.7 percent in the world that reflects acute undernutrition also the rank of india's neighbor such as pakistan it is 102 bangladesh is on 81st position nepal on 69th position sri lanka on 60th position correct so what is the rank of india in the global hunger index report for 2023 it is 111 correct Then remember the first such report about global hunger index report was published in 2006 and this report is basically an annual report that measures and track hunger at global and regional levels as well as at country levels. Moving on next next we are talking about president's colors award recently our uh, chief of army staff general Manoj Pandey who is our chief of army staff recently presented the president's color award and this president's color award is also known as Nishan right so this was presented to whom this president's color award it was presented to third battalion right Naga regiments third battalion I repeat third battalion of Naga regiment was recently awarded with the president's color award right and who presented it it was presented by chief of army staff general manoj pandey correct then this was during a color presentation parade that was held in kumau regimental center that is in ranikhet uttarakhand right during this event president's color award was presented to third battalion of naga regiment important take a note of this first then next thing remember it is best this award president's color or nishan it is best upon the military unit in recognition of exceptional service rendered to the country in both peace and war naga regiment's third battalion was created in 2009 in haldiwani situated in the kumau hills which were home to the kumau and naga regiments the first battalion of the naga regiment was raised in Ranikhet in 1970 and Naga Regiment's 3rd Battalion has received Vishist Seva Medal also. Right, so Vishist Seva Medal also and here we are seeing 3rd Battalion of Naga Regiment was awarded with President's Color Award. And another thing to remember here is that this award is also known as Nishan. Next, also if I ask you which was the first regiment or which force to receive the President's Color Award by the then President Dr. Rajendra Prasad in 1951. So it will be our Indian Navy, right? Indian Navy became the first force to receive the President's Color Award and it was presented by Dr. Rajendra Prasad and it was in 1951. Next, next we are talking about a new species of frogs as you can see in the picture. Here, researchers from India and USA, they have discovered a new species that has been named as Bufoides bhupathai. I repeat, Bufoides bhupathai. This is the species that has been recently found in the Mizoram's Dampa Tiger Reserve and they were found by India and USA researchers. Directly remember. Then remember, apart from this, there is a term Herpetologist. That is Herpetologist. 
हु इज अ हर्पिटोलॉजिस्ट हर्पिटोलॉजिस्ट आर द जूलॉजिस्ट हु स्पेशलाइज इन द स्टडी ऑफ रेप्टाइल्स एंड एम्फेबियंस आई रिपीट दो स्टडी और पर्सन हु स्टडी ऑफ रेप्टाइल्स एंड एम्फीबियंस हु आर एम्फीबियंस एम्फीबियंस आर दोज एनिमल्स दैट कैन लिव बोथ ऑन लैंड एंड वॉटर सो वॉट इज द नेम ऑफ दिस न्यू स्पीशीज ऑफ द फॉर फ्रॉक दैट इज बुफॉइडेस भूपाथे नेक्स्ट इज अर्कॉन एंड आर आई टी ई एस दे बिकेम द फिफ्टींथ एंड सिक्सटींथ नवरत्ना सी पी एस सी इम्पॉर्टेंट दिस लाइन इट सेल्फ इज इम्पॉर्टेंट टू क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम हेयर फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन विच इज द फिफ्टींथ नवरत्ना सी पी एस सी और विच इज द सिक्सटींथ नवरत्ना सी पी एस सी सो एंड सो दैट इज अर्कॉन एंड राइट्स रिस्पेक्टिवली नाउ सिमिलरली इफ आई आस्क यू अर्कॉन एंड राइट्स दे बिकेम विच नंबर ऑफ नवरत्ना सी पी एस सी इट इज योर फिफ्टींथ एंड सिक्सटींथ रिस्पेक्टिवली If we talk about Arcon, Arcon is a specialized construction company that covers the entire range of construction activities and services in the infrastructure sector, and it became the fifteenth Navratna company CPSC. Then RITS, it is limited. Uh, limited. It is a multidisciplinary engineering and consultancy organization, and it is the sixteenth Navratna among CPSCs. If we talk about Arcon, chairman and managing director here will be Brijesh Kumar Gupta. Headquarter is in New Delhi and it was established in 1976. If we talk about rights, here the chairman and managing director will be Rahul Mithal. Headquarter is in Gurugram, Haryana, and where in when was it established in 1974? Then, what is this Navratna scheme basically? Right, this Navratna scheme was launched in 1997 and it is to identify and support the CPSCs. with comparative advantages in becoming global giants right these cpscs they are given greater autonomy and flexibility in their operations in order to improve their performance and competitiveness moving on that's all for the day friends i hope you enjoyed the session and you can follow us on the youtube channel as well as apart from youtube channel you can go and follow us at affairs cloud telegram channel and if you have any queries related to the content or the of courses offered to you or the payment which you did on the application you can contact us on the number provided that is 76773362 apart from this friends you can follow us on the facebook as well as on instagram handle that is affairs cloud underscore official in the end friends if you use a code that is vikas10 you will be getting an additional extra 10% discount by using this code vikas10 also if you have any problem regarding the course purchase any problem regarding to our application you can contact us on the mobile number that is 9677333862 and if you want to mail us you can also mail us on support@affairscloud.com and i assure you that our representative from us will be contacting you soon and resolving your issue